Welcome to the 2021 Granville Academy graduation ceremony. Please rise and join us in singing our national anthem. Thank you. It's now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jeffrey Guyton, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jeffrey. At this time, I would like to recognize any veterans of the armed forces or any public officials who are with us today. Would you please stand? Mr. May, veterans, could we give them a round of applause, please? <laughs> Graduates, you may be seated. I would like to thank Dr. Allen and her staff for their terrific hospitality today. As Dr. McLean has often said this past year, we have had to pivot. We were gonna have a ceremony outside, we were gonna have a ceremony inside. Regardless, ladies and gentlemen, we are having a ceremony. <laughs> and I have to say how glad I am to actually see you. I wanna thank the parents for taking a chance on this innovative school and hanging with us. Um, this is kind of an emotional day. There are a few students who've been with us, you know, for quite a few years, and so we're, we're really proud of them. But I'm, I have deep gratitude for you and your commitment to this program. Um, so we, we appreciate all that you have done to be with us. Now I ask uh, our board chair, Mr. David Richardson, to share a few words. Mr. Richardson. Thank you, Dr. Graham. Good morning, Granville Academy Pirates. On behalf of the Board of Education of Granville County Public Schools, I'd like to congratulate you on your achievement of reaching today's graduation. Though it has been a year like none other, you have persevered and you have finished the journey that you started some 13 years ago. When many of you as students of the class of 21 were born, the movie Ice Age was being released. The Bachelor and American Idol were making their debut. Tiger Woods claimed back-to-back -back master championship wins. Apple released the second generation of the groundbreaking iPod. Elon Musk founded the company SpaceX. And Sanyin released the very first cell phone with, get this, a camera. There were lots of important milestones that year, but as you continued your school career, you headed towards your own athletic wins, artistic achievements, and events that shaped your world. Now, as you sit here today, I want to press upon you a few truths. You will fail sometimes. You will succeed sometimes. And sometimes you will just need to stand still and figure out which one you're doing. 
after you walk across this stage in a few minutes and hold that diploma in your hands, doors will open for you. It is up to you to try hard, to pray hard, and to work hard. I want to thank you for being the best and the brightest Granville County has to offer. I want to encourage you not to forget your roots and the ones who helped you become who you are today. Finally, I want to challenge you to consider coming back to your hometown and invest in others like those who invested in you. Come back here to live, work here, or even just visit here. But when you do, come back. Remember what you learned here. Not just in the classroom, but those lessons on the football field, the church house, and those gathered around the table with your family and friends. Again, let me be one of the first to congratulate you on behalf of myself, my fellow board members, and the entire body of educators that make up Granville County Public Schools. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. It's now my privilege to ask Ms. Natalie Russell to come forward and share a poem for our graduates. Ms. Russell. Good morning, graduates, families, and guests. We would like to dedicate this poem to our graduating seniors. The poem is called Thanks to Those Who Helped Me by Julie Hebert. It's here. I finally made it. Graduation is finally here. I would have never made it without my three musketeers. The first is my parents who always made me believe in all I could be. You were always such an inspiration and showed me what I couldn't see. The second is the teachers who wanted nothing than me to succeed. You've helped and been so patient and were always around when I need. And last but very not least were my friends who kept me afloat. Whenever I felt I was drowning, you always came to me by boat. Without my three inspirations, I don't know if I'd have made it through. Now that graduation is near us, I don't have to wonder what's true. But what I do want to say to you all is thank you for being you. I'm so lucky to have you all with me. You've held me together like glue. So here I am, about to embark in a new journey all on my own. I hope I remember your teachings and find my way as you've shown. Today is the day that I graduate, a day unlike any I've owned. I know I like to procrastinate, but this time I definitely won't postpone. Thank you, Ms. Russell. And now it is my great privilege, and I'm so proud to introduce Mr. Evan Bechtel to come forward and share a few words with his fellow graduates. Evan. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Evan Bechtel, and I am the salutatorian for this year at Granville Academy. I would like to start this off by thanking you all for coming and being here with us as we take the time to reflect on the past few years. It is on somewhat short notice that I have come to speak to you as we are bringing things to a close and for those of us graduating, entering a new chapter in our lives. While it has been difficult for some of us, teachers and students alike, to adapt to a totally different method of learning, it is apparent that nonetheless, we have managed to come out on top of it all. Perhaps some of us, in the beginning, may have had concerns on whether things would really work out, that perhaps, given these circumstances, the outcome might not be as well as we'd hoped it'd be. Though here and today, we can finally say things indeed did work out and that we are and were certainly up to the task. Whether it be that those among us who are moving on to college, choosing to enter some particular trade, or those putting things off until they feel comfortable enough to proceed with things, a sentiment I can unfortunately strongly relate to in more, than, more ways than one, or any other post-graduation pursuit, I'm sure I can speak for everyone in that this is not the end, but only the beginning, and wish everyone well in their future pursuits as graduates of Granville Academy. Once again, thank you for coming. Thank you, Evan. Before we introduce your graduates, I would like to take advantage of this opportunity to share a few observations with you, the graduates. I know everyone is waiting to get the program going, but I can't, I gotta say something. 
Uh, I promise to keep it brief. As a young man, Abraham Lincoln went to war as a captain, and he returned as a private. Afterwards, he was a failure as a businessman, and later he turned to politics and was defeated in his first try for the legislature, and again defeated in his first attempt to be nominated for Congress. He was defeated in his application to be commissioner of the General Land Office, and he was defeated in the senatorial election of 1854. Defeated in his efforts for the vice presidency in 1856, and defeated in the senatorial election of 1858. Albert Einstein did not speak until he was four years old, and he did not read until he was over seven. His parents thought that he was subnormal, and one of his teachers described him as mentally slow, unsociable, and adrift forever in foolish dreams. He was expelled from school and was refused admittance to the Zurich Polytechnic School. Walt Disney was fired by a newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas. He went bankrupt several times before he built Disneyland. In fact, the proposed park was rejected by the city of Anaheim on the grounds that it would only attract riffraff. The list of others who initially failed but now inspire us is very long. Colonel Sanders failed at life until at age 65 he started KFC. 1,009 restaurants rejected him before that. It took Thomas Edison 1,000 failures before his light bulb actually worked. Oprah, Katy Perry, Beyonce all experienced significant failures in their lives, and on and on it goes. The point is, it's not whether you get knocked down that matters. It's whether you get back up. In 2016, Angela Duckworth wrote a book entitled Grit, the power and passion of perseverance. Dr. Duckworth was interested in how we can predict who will be successful. She discovered that more important than the usual things such as IQ or talent is something that she called grit. It's been said that grit is living life like a marathon and not a sprint, but what is grit? Grit is passion and perseverance for the very long-term goals, says Duckworth. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future day in, day out, not just for the week and not just for the month, but for the year, working really hard to make that future a reality. Graduates, each of you has demonstrated grit. You persevered against exceedingly difficult circumstances, and you saw this year through to the end. For this, you are to be congratulated. You are an inspiration to me, to the whole staff, and to many classes to come. Dr. Duckworth identifies five characteristics of grit. The first is courage. Courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. You have demonstrated courage during your time. Conscientiousness. It implies the desire to do a task well, and conscientious people are efficient, organized, not resting until the job is done right. Each of you has demonstrated conscientiousness. Probably overall is per perseverance. Winston Churchill famously said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Indeed, to many per people, perseverance is synonymous with pain and suffering, but those with true grit are able to flip their perspective on purpose perseverance 180 degrees and view the struggle as a doorway to pleasure. The fourth characteristic is resilience. In one word, resilience is toughness. And this group of graduates has been extremely resilient through the ups and downs of the last 18 months. Finally is passion. And passion creates excellence when mediocrity would do. Passionate people have a deep sense of purpose. Discover your purpose, ladies and gentlemen. I believe that you were created for a reason. You have a purpose. Find it and pursue it with everything that you have. Congratulations to you all. I am so proud of each of you, and we are happy to be here together to honor you today. And now, without further ado, Ms. Wareheim.
<laughs> this is the presentation of awards, yeah. <laughs> so I think everyone needs to, do the board members need to come up with you? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shauna Askew. Evan Bechtel. Charmonica Brandon. Isaac Brogdon. Janiqua Davis is absent. Chesney Edwards. Jessica Gates. Jocelyn Gomez Uribe. <laughs> Jeffrey Guyton. <laughs> Jarrett Lashley absent. Josie Nevels. Jacob Robinette, absent. Amanda Turner. And Jacob Vaughn. We will now have Dr. McLean. Parents and guardians, I'd like to congratulate you as well on this very special moment. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. By the power vested in me by the great state of North Carolina and by the authority granted to me by our illustrious Granville County Board of Education and after conferring with your principal, I hereby declare you graduates from Granville County Public Schools. You may now turn your tassels. Congratulations. May we have some music, please. <laughs> 